So it looks like before we see Galactus and Doctor Doom in the MCU, which we will, first we will get Kang the Conqueror, Master of Time Travel, who apparently Marvel has been hinting at for quite some time. Kang is a huge villain of both the Fantastic Four and the Avengers, and it's said that he will bring the teams together in the next Avengers film. As it's been reported, Kang will be a villain much like Loki and Ultron were in past Avengers films. But phases 4 and 5 will build up to them eventually fighting Galactus and Doctor Doom at the end of the saga. The same as Thanos with the Infinity Saga. Kang will expand the MCU like never before, splitting the team up, sending half to 2099 and half to the Old West. That's gonna be insane. So how exactly has the MCU hinted at Kang? Well, if you remember in Endgame, Stark was saying something about if you mess with time, it tends to mess back. And after the time heist, Kang isn't too happy. Kang is a time traveler, and for him, it works the same way as it did in Endgame, where changing the past doesn't change the current future, but instead deviates and creates a different timeline with a new future. That's confusing, right? Well, how does Kang tie into the Fantastic Four, then? Well, his real name is actually Nathaniel Richards, a distant descendant of Reed, and is from the 31st century. In the comics, Nathaniel becomes obsessed with time travel and travels back to ancient Egypt to take over as a pharaoh. He then names Ensaba Nur as his heir. You remember him? Yeah, that's right. That's Apocalypse. So there you go, they're tying in X-Men as well. The Fantastic Four travel back in time and defeat him, and then Kang goes to the 20th century and becomes the Scarlet Centurion, taking on the Avengers. This is where he meets Doctor Doom. After another defeat, though, Kang ends up in the distant future, taking over the galaxy, and this is when he calls himself Kang the Conqueror. In the Loki Disney Plus show, Loki is seen wearing a TVA shirt after he is apparently captured, which is the Time Variance Authority, who protects all timelines and realities. The head of the TVA will be played by none other than Owen Wilson. Wow! In one reality, a young Nathaniel Richards actually becomes Iron Lad, and he forms a Young Avengers, alongside Stature, the daughter of Ant-Man, and Wiccan, son of Wanda and Vision. This all checks out in the MCU, having introduced an older Cassie Lang in Endgame, and Wiccan in the WandaVision series. But I think Harley Keener, the kid from Iron Man 3, is going to end up being Iron Lad instead. So there you go, Endgame and Loki set up Kang, Kang will tie together the Fantastic Four and Avengers, and then eventually set up the Young Avengers, all leading to a huge crossover movie with Galactus. Wow!